in reference to how the cost of construction has gone up, it becomes very complicated when you want to buy a quality home. As much as location is one of the biggest factors to consider, quality of a house is very important. Today, the thirst of African real estate to bring you the best homes has landed us in Serenity Meadows, Siokimao, and this is a four-bedroom or en suit mansion with a print area of 320 square meters. This home has been constructed on a 50 by 100 lot of land and the price is 23.5 million. The home comes with a three car parking if you have the big cars, but if you like to do those, you can fit up to six here. This unit comes with two front yards, one on that side and another one on this side. On my far front, you have a hallway that takes you to the external toilet and the employee quarters. This is it. And at the corner here, you have some tomatoes. Let me take all of you inside. But before we get inside, just have a look at this entrance porch. Is it not grand? Come with me. From the entrance, this hallway guides you to the rest of the unit. But before we go there, this home comes with these directional lights, a curved spaces for all your paintings, and on the opposite side, you have the common washroom. I like it that it utilizes the space under the stairs, and as you can see, it's a big washroom. It also comes with a wash basin at the entrance, and these stairs will take you to the upper level. The living room is massive and beautiful. I'm very sure from there you have fallen in love. And as people say that love is blind, this one requires your two eyes. As you can see from there, this unit comes with very well done gypsum ceilings, massive windows for good natural light, and some side lights combined by some recess lights at this center light to make sure that your nights are perfect. As if that is not enough, the staircase of this home comes lead to make sure that you can easily track your steps as you drag yourself to bed after a long day of work. On my left hand side, you have the dining area of this home. And I want to ask you a question. What is the biggest dining set that can fit in this space? If you were to ask me, I would say that this dining space is big enough to fit an eight seater to a 10 seater dining set. One thing to note is that this dining space comes with a massive access that opens to the kitchen garden. Just have a look. Is it not beautiful? As I said earlier, the rear side of this unit comes with a small gym, a kitchen garden on my right hand side, and on my opposite side, you have the employee quarters and an extra laundry area. This space has been done very well and it comes with an industrial sink and spaces for your washer and dryer if you can't keep them in the other laundry area. That door will give you an access to the unit through the kitchen. I said this home comes with an external toilet and it's here. And it acts as a shared toilet between the employee quarters and anyone who is in the compound of this unit. The home comes with a traditional gym with a traditional weight and this is where you will do your barbecue. The kitchen garden comes with some spinach, some kales and you have some rabbits. The back porch has been done very well and from here I'll take you back inside. On my far front you have the kitchen of this home and from the entrance you have this space that has been reserved for your double door. An extra space above it. This kitchen comes with dark granite all over and I like it that the kitchen has come with upper and lower cabinets. Extra drawers for your cutlery and your crockery and behind me you have the sink area. As you can see it is a double sink coming with a tilting faucet and a space for your washing detergents. 
The kitchen window is massive and at the center you have an island. The island comes with several storage spaces on this side and on the opposite side you have a space where you can do two or three chairs and someone will sit here to chit chat with you as you are doing your kitchen chores. On the opposite side the kitchen comes with a five burner cooktop and above it you have your heat extractor. And beside this massive Hood, you have an extra compartment. These two spaces have been left for your oven and your microwave. Before I show you the laundry area, this kitchen comes with directional lights in addition to the recess lights. From the kitchen, you have this space that has been reserved for your washer and dryer if you don't want to use the other laundry area that I showed you earlier. The pantry to this kitchen is here and it comes very well sectioned for all your dry foods. I'll take you back inside. From the kitchen through the dining area, I'll show you the guest bedroom and later we will use the stairs to the upper level. The dining area is the smallest and it comes with its bathroom here. The bathroom comes with a wash basin, a water closet and a space for your showers. The guest bedroom is of an average size and it comes with two windows and on this opposite side you have its closet. The closet comes with sectioned part for the foldable clothes a dresser add some spaces for the hangable clothes. Let's head upstairs. A mahogany staircase is always a plus, especially when it is this wide and it is contrasted by the massive light that you get from such a window. This level comes with a family room. The primary bedroom is on my right hand side. At the center you have the second bedroom and this is the first bedroom. As you can see, the family room will be enough for you and your family to enjoy some personal space. On my far front you have this space that has been reserved for your electronics. Right now we have a 40 inch TV. One thing to note is that the bedrooms of this home comes with the strongest doors we have seen on the channel. The door comes with multiple locks on all corners and you have an extra lock up here. The closets to these bedrooms come with side drawers. And you have some extra compartments on that side. The main part of the closet is on this side and it comes with enough spaces for all your clothes. Each bedroom comes with two windows or more and this is the bathroom. The bathroom comes with a vanity setup, a WC at the center, and on this other side, you have a shower cubicle. The first and the second bedroom shares a balcony, and from this bedroom, you access it from here. From here, you get the best views of Siokimau locality, and this is the second bedroom, and its access to the balcony is here. The second bedroom is almost the same size to the first one and I think this one is targeting the boys, denoted by the blue colors, maybe a brown. This bedroom comes with a massive window to give it maximum natural light and on top you have an extra one on this side. The closet is here and the dresser is at the center. The bathroom to this bedroom is here and it takes the same concept to the one that we found in the first bedroom. I'll take you to the primary bedroom. If you are still watching, you can agree with me that this home is massive. But my heart can't rest until I show you the primary bedroom. Come with me. From the entrance, the primary bedroom has two wings. On my right hand side, you have the main bedroom. And on my left hand side, you have the walking closet and the primary bathroom. This bedroom is enormous to say the least, and its size has been complemented by the high ceilings that comes with it. 
Its beauty has been magnified by the walls that has been painted in different colors and a massive window that is on the opposite side to direct maximum natural light to this space. On this far end, you have a space that has been left for your CCTVs. And one thing that I did not say is that this home comes surrounded with 24 hours surveillance system. The bedroom also comes with some side rights and some recess rights to tickle your moods when you feel like you don't want to fulfill your bedroom duties. On this opposite side, you have the primary closet. As I said, it's a walk-in closet and it comes with numerous compartments for all your clothes. On this side, the closet comes sectioned for your shoes and it comes with a window to make sure that you don't need to put the lights on when you are dressing. Below the shoe area, you have some drawers. And on this other side, you have spaces for all your clothes and I like it that it comes white. As we all know that white is the color of the gods. Let's continue. On the opposite side of the walk-in closet, you have the primary bathroom. The primary bathroom comes with the biggest shower cubicle and I'm very sure that the developer did this because he knew that this space would be for two. The space comes with a soap holder, a towel holder, a WC, and on the far end you have a double vanity. Through the tour you have seen that this home has been very well done and quality has not been compromised. But I'm very disappointed that this home is missing a bathtub. How? Let's go and see the views that you get from the primary balcony. The primary balcony covers the whole front face of this unit. And from here you are getting the best views, like 180 degrees views of all Siokimau locality. From here you will get the best morning sunrise. And from the opposite side you will get the best sunrise. When you are sitting here, you will realize that Siokimau has been very well developed. And every developer in this locality is doing the best. And that gives a lot of hope in terms of security. This area is very secure, and even if it is that secure, this developer made sure that he added a perimeter wall, a gas wire, and an electric fence to magnify that. From this balcony, you'll get the best views to the front yard of this home and the cars that will be parked on this parking. What else do people want in life? We have come to the end of the tour, and to be sincere, I like the unit. The price is very fair, and the unit has been very well constructed. This home is in Siokimau, and the price, as I said, is 23.5 million. If you would want to purchase it, make sure you talk to us through the numbers attached in the first comment. If you would want to see a cheaper unit in the same locality, click up here. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.